I just woke up. I'm naked, so I'm gonna try not to accidentally show reflections. I have been doing bouillon cubes, just making broth and drinking it because it's good for electrolytes, but I read on the internet that you can put a tablespoon of butter or something in it and so you get your fat as well, but it also tastes amazing. So that's what I'm doing and I'll let you know how it goes. There's the tablespoon of butter and this is my little bouillon cube right here. And I'm just waiting on this bad bitch right here to boil. And then I'm gonna put all that shit together, right? And then uh, I'll eat it. Well, I'll drink it. It'll get real good. I hope. Now I know the watched pot never boils, but what about a filmed pot? I know it looks so great right now. I had to put my hair up. Uh, yeah, that tastes pretty fucking good. So there's a little trick for you if you want to get electrolytes and fat, but if you don't want to like drink coffee and have caffeine, which I normally do, but I just, I wanted some soup, man. Some soup. All right, it is Sunday, January 7th. I just got my fourth certificate for my real estate classes. I got two more to go before I can submit those and take trick. I just hit motherfucking Wonderland. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the fuck that means and I sound like a crazy person, I'm, I weigh under 200 pounds for the first time in like, uh, it's probably been a year. I started out at 220 and now this morning when I weighed myself, I was 199.7. I have not fucking exercised. I don't know how much I could emphasize this. I have not fucking exercised. I'm making a snack right now. My boyfriend went to go get his car cleaned because somebody threw up in it. And I am making some pepperoni chips. I just saw this recipe. <laughs> recipe, it's literally fucking pepperonis in a pan and you bake it. One thing about this diet is you don't get a whole lot of, of crunch because pretty much everything that has crunch besides nuts and stuff have like a fuck ton of carbs. It's like croutons and chips and things like that. Um, so I'm gonna crisp up these pepperonis. Also, I made, I should have fucking recorded myself making this, but I'll have to do it another time and record it. This is a cookie dough fat bomb. It is cream cheese, vanilla, butter, and chocolate chips. Oh, and almond butter or peanut butter. It depends on whatever one you want to use. I used almond butter and it tastes fucking good. It's a nice little like sweet, like mwah. The recipe that I got it from didn't tell me how much, like what the nutrition facts were, like fat and all that. So I'm gonna have to add everything together and figure that shit out. But I really like it. It's really good. As soon as these pepperoni chips are made, I will turn the camera back on and let you know how they turned out. Oh my God, the pepperoni smells so fucking good. It's been in the oven for a whole like five minutes and I'm just like, I think I need to go fucking check on them. They sound like they're crackling and stuff, but it smells, it smells like there's just a whole pizza in the oven, but it's just, it's just pepperoni. Let me show you. Oh. Yeah, I should probably take them out now. <laughs> Yeah? Hey, I'm gonna need you to stop walking underneath my feet, ma'am. What? Why? Aw. Okay, I need a way to get these, but I don't have pinchers. Give me a bowl. That's a spoon. No! Right. They look like mm, some, some crazy ass nipples. So. What? God damn it! You're cute. All right. Moment of truth. Bitch. Hell, fucking yeah. Let me tell you the nutrition facts. Sixteen pieces, which is a pretty good amount. Yeah has 13 grams of fat, one total carb, 
and six grams of protein. That's a fantastic fucking snack. If uh, you're looking for a crunchy snack, you miss chips, that's pretty damn delicious. I wonder how that would work with like salami and other things. Probably similar, right? Another thing that's really good, I miss, you know, juice and stuff because pretty much you can only drink water and coffee. I was on Reddit as, you know, per usual. I was looking up stuff about electrolytes and people use Mio for it and I never tried Mio before. I've always seen the commercials for them and been like, yeah, right, whatever. That's probably gross. Um, but no, it's pretty fucking delicious and uh, it's fun to fucking use. So just, just watch, okay? Just watch. Ordinary glass of water. Mio water. And one fucking package has 24 fucking servings. So they go a long way. And then shake it up. And then, you know, God, move the fuck. I'm gonna step on you. Bon apple tea. Tips and tricks are helpful. Oh, another thing. This fucking Mio, the lemonade Mio, tastes just the fuck like Chick-fil-A's lemonade. And I don't understand it, but I'm fucking down for it. Oh, my boyfriend and I just went shopping. We were just originally going for like asparagus and a couple ingredients so I can make my cookie dough fat bomb that I really like. And then we spent like a fucking hour in there and we got a pretty good, yes, hello. Wanna be a part? We got a pretty good um, haul, so I wanted to show you my little keto-tastic uh, shopping adventure. Say hi, Lola. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we got quite a bit of stuff. Over here, by the way, I didn't take this out, but we got like jalapeno bacon. Fucking, I can't wait to try that. We got pepperonis so we can make pepperoni chips. They're best, actually, if you like fucking basically burn them. The asparagus, which we were gonna wrap bacon. I have a bit of a sweet tooth so we stopped and we looked at like all the candy in the fucking candy aisle and I love sour stuff. So these warheads, if you look at the nutrition facts here, 13 grams of carbs but the serving size is four pieces. So if you eat one piece then it's like three carbs almost. And then we've got the Andes mint. Serving size is two pieces and it is six carbs one protein and three fats. So you can either take the full six carbs and eat two pieces, or you can just take three and eat one. Um, I personally, whenever I have like chocolate or something, I just like to, to suck on it so it lasts a long time and I don't eat that much. Got this extra dark 85% cacao, a net of five grams of carbs, and the serving size is four squares. So basically, if you just eat one square, it is one gram of carbs chocolate truffles net 13 yeah that's math 22 grams of fat for five pieces so again you can eat less than that and you'll have less but this is a good source of fat it does have sugars in it but like this is to satisfy a sweet tooth and then the lily's chocolate chips this is what i found um online for the the cookie dough fat bomb recipe there are those facts right there. I actually found a um, Hershey's sugar-free chocolate chips when I was down in the valley, but they didn't have them up here. And it actually had like one gram of carb and like significantly less. And so I actually like those better, but these will still work. Hard salami here with uh, wrapped around cheese. And we had a pepperoni package too, but we just ate those because we were hungry two motherfucking grams of carbs, 17 protein, and 25 fat for four pieces. So this is a really good snack. Got some veggie noodles. I really wanted to try that because I, before I went keto, uh, am a pasta fucking freak and I love me some fucking spaghetti and some fettuccine alfredo. So I wanna try to see if I can make something with this. Um, ribbon, zucchini, and squash because I wanted to lay them out flat and put some seasonings on them and make these into like some long ass chips. We got some fucking butter back here. Um, we got a fuckload of cheese so that we can make um, cheese taco shells. 
fucking cream cheese. I got this mainly for the cookie dough thing, but less than a carb for an ounce, 10 grams of fat. Pretty good. Baby Bell cheeses, those are um, good little snacks too. Oh my God, look at this little coffee creamer. It's like a Mio where you squirt it, but I've been so frustrated because the coffee creamer that I use, which is not in my refrigerator. Oh, it's right there. It's got motherfucking five grams of carbs for a tablespoon. And I need more than a tablespoon to fucking sweeten my coffee. And three tablespoons is not enough to make it flavorful. I don't know if you can see this, but this has less than one gram of carb. Okay. And you just squirt a little bit of it into your coffee. I haven't tried it yet, but hopefully this will be awesome. We bought four because it was two for four. Oh, and then found these kombucha, kombuchas. This one is supposed to be like Dr. Pepper and it is eight grams of carbs for the whole bottle. So if you just drink half, it's four, but also eight grams of carbs if you're just trying to stay below 20 a day, that's not bad. And I really want to taste this. Um, and then we got a root beer one as well. Oh my God, these things. The super creatine, um, so that's you know fucking good for you. This one's sour heads. Look at this, zero motherfucking carbs. It's got zero like everything. So this is cool, especially if you like crave fizzy stuff. This is sour one. This is cotton candy, um, and this is peach mango. And then down here we have all the different meals. That's the fucking keto haul. I know I haven't really shown shit. I keep fucking forgetting. <laughs> I never show what the fuck I'm eating or drinking. And I, I mean, I've only put up two videos, but in my opinion, they've been kind of like, all right, we're talking about your keto, whatever, but you haven't shown us anything. And I, you know, made the cookie bomb and then didn't fucking show how I made it. I kind of told you what was in it. So I'm trying to be a little bit better. That was my little grocery haul. I'm 47 days in now and I still am really fucking happy with it. Uh, I'm not ever fucking hungry. I don't know how many times I can say that. Update, this is fucking bomb!